Hello everybody and welcome to this Zorg 10 part series. Uh, I have played a little bit, as you can see from my fleet here, I have two of these uh, Overseer class configurated junction ships. Um, then I have a kind of a smaller escort here, it's a kind of like a, I would say like a destroyer for the Zorg maybe? And then we have the carrier, the pyramid ship, and I have two of these um, configurated wings, these trapezoids that all they have are the uh, the shield emitters, and I plan to have them escort our big ships around to uh, try to block as much damage as they possibly can with their shields. So, uh, let's take a look at this sector here. We have nomads. We are actually neighbors with the Valkyrians, and the Blackrock faction is here as well. And if you look, uh, let me see. Let's go back to my station here. Let's check out the alliance report. We should be allied with, yep, we are allied with the Valkyrians and the Black Rocks. So those two um, neighbors of ours are, are our allies. But for our enemies, as you can see, we have a lot of enemies. Um, also including the Citadel, which I believe is one of the new uh, factions I have in this in this game. So we may be seeing them at some point. I think that's what they're called, the Citadel? Well, we'll find out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but the more importantly, the Nomads are our enemies. So. For this first episode, I'm going to take this fleet that I just made, and we are going to attack the nomads, which are up here. So let me show you my uh, level up here. So I want to try and start playing these things at level 10. I feel that's a good level to start out a series at. So I've gone to level 5 technology, which has given me plus 5 flux capacity for all my ships in the fleet. It's given me plus 10% armor for all ships in the fleet, which I think is one of the most important mods for the Zorg, since they have no shields besides those little fighter wings. Um, we also have this, which gave us plus 10% haul integrity to all ships in the fleet, which also I think is a huge deal for the Zorg. And I think this mod here, the field repairs, is kind of Zorgy. I, I feel that they would be excellent, um, an excellent faction to repair ships that have been disabled, just because, I mean, they're the Zorg, you know? So I thought, <laughs> uh, this seemed like a, a kind of more lore choice to pick for a Zorg faction. Uh, also, I have a Zorg little avatar here, I guess, that comes with the uh, mod too. That's pretty cool. And then we have one into the navigation, and then three in the fleet logistics. So from here on out, I plan to level up logistics because having a hundred logistics is pretty insane. As we saw in the Shadow Yards uh, Let's Play, having a full fleet of combat ships is nuts. So that are that's my upgrades right now. And I'm going to go up to this Nomad Planet, and I have not fought yet. I have not fought anything, I've run a couple tests with, you know, one-on-one -on -one scenarios, and that's it. But I have not actually done a full combat with anything. So this may go very well, this may go very bad. I don't think the Nomad Asteroid Mining Fleet has much of a chance against us. I guess I should kind of go more over the ships though. So. These um, Overseer class, they come with a base flux capacity of 16,400, um, 16, flux dissipation of 1,100, hull integrity is a base of 33,000, armor rating 2,800, you can see my additions right there. Um, I'll go into the actual mods I'm using here in a bit. So these things come with a Zorg Displacer, which uh, I think it's like every 5 or 8 seconds, something like that. You can activate the Zorg Displacer and it increases your maneuverability and your speed by a little bit. So that's how you can kind of get the Zorg ships to turn around very fast to expose, you know, um, sides of their ship that have not been, and I'm not taking damage. So, you know, you can kind of spread out the damage with the armor all around the ship. So that's a cool ability. And uh, these probably weapons don't really mean much. We have to look into them in the actual refit screen. Let's exit this. There we go. Um, also, this kind of, I, I see it as a destroyer. It also comes with the Zorg Displacer. You can see its stats over here. It comes with a base hull integrity of 15,000. And then the pyramid, which I think is nuts. I, oh, right. I've been looking at the supplies a day. So the pyramid is five supplies a day. It comes with 19,250 hull integrity, 2,400 armor rating, insane flux capacity and all that. Um, these ships are 10 supplies a day, and this destroyer is three supplies a day. So let's go to the refit screen and look at these uh, mods here. We'll start with my ship that I'm piloting. So the Zorg faction comes with a ton of hull modifications. So like this Zorg Zeta Overdrive. The Zeta AI introduced package that enhances an integrated ship with rapid repair nanobots and EMP negating adjuncts. So I assume that negates some of the EMP damage that your ship can take, which is pretty important considering there's no shields for the Zorg um, to absorb that EMP damage from, well, EMP weapons. So that's a cool mod. We have the Survival Matrix, 
which reinforces the integrity of a Zorg's vessel's hull. So that's, I guess, you know, increases their hull. The structural alloy increases their armor, I think. Structural alloy does take up space that could be, oh, no, no, no. Converts most of the interior structure of the Zorg vessel. Yeah, 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 armored alloy. So that increases their armor rating. The alcoves, it uh, adds protective encasing for Zorg personnel to reside in, so increases their chancing, chances of survival uh, when damage is sustained to their vessels. So that's also pretty cool. The Zorg carapace, um, structural alloys often found in Zorg vessels. The carapace adds a layer of heavy outer armor, decreasing the mobility of the vessel, but adding to its sustainability. So again, increasing its armor. And this is something I just slapped on here, reinforced bulkheads, because 50% haul integrity. So, I mean, if you look at the hull right there, 35,000, if you take that out, you know, 25,000. So, that's, this, this mod, <laughs> uh, this doesn't come with a Zorg, I mean, this is just a mod that's in all Star Sector games, you just have to get up the right technology tree to get it, but, um, yeah, that adds 10,000 hull points to this, uh, ship. Here we have the Overdrive, and I put the Reinforced Bulkheads on that ship, and the Pyramid, I just let have the, um, some of the Zorg stuff, because I didn't have enough Ornus points to really mess around with, and, uh, grab the uh, bulk bulkhead mod so those are the mods uh the weapons the interdictor ray is a laser uh damage does 122 dps but sustained is only 37 and 100 flux per second it is a perfect accuracy so that's the interdictor ray uh it's also point defense i should say that too uh here we go another point defense weapon the handler ray it has uh, quite a few of these all around the ship more interdictor rays more handler rays its main weapon i think think yeah are these zorg neutron disruptors so range of 2000 dps is 312 it comes with emp damage um, of 750 so if you hit a, a ship and at 2000 range the ship's shields are probably going to be down so you know you, you start off with these you probably disable a lot of their weapon systems and then you go in to finish the job so that is the armaments of this class of ship this uh, Zerg drone class, which I kind of view as a destroyer, has more of these handler rays on the corner. It has interdictor rays on the center, and it has one accelerated, or I'm sorry, neutron accelerator. So this is kind of unique, um, because I think most of their weapons are laser based, but this is actually a kinetic damage type. So it is good against shields, does 375 DPS and a range of 2000. Also comes with EMP damage. So that is uh, pretty nuts. And then the pyramid. We have interdictor rays kind of all throughout here. Uh, a lot of point defense weapons with the interdictor and the handler rays. And then its main gun is back here, the Zorg Atom Charger, which is another kinetic based weapon at 2000 range. And um, let's see, 1000 EMP damage <laughs> and 2000 base damage. So that's a very strong weapon. Very strong weapon. All right, so let's actually get into some combat now that we've kind of run down what the vessels have mod wise and equipment wise so you can't to my knowledge there are no zorg vessels that you can change the weapons out it they all just come pre-stocked with their weapons and uh, that's it so after you purchase a uh, zorg vessel kmar insurgency has left our little uh, happy family here so that's that's okay maybe i'll go fight them here in a bit another asteroid fleet Nomad Colony Transport, that they have no chance. Here we go. Nomad Carrier Group. Let's try these guys first. Move into Engage, Continue, Deploy All. Hmm. Okay, so I want to assign these shield guys. Let's assign one to the Carrier, because that's kind of one of our weakest ships. We'll assign one to us. We only have one command point left. I kind of got used to having a lot of command points in my Shadow Yards series. I, I kind of like that. Hmm. Well. There we go. Okay. Oh! Whoo! <laughs> my haul kind of went through the other ship's haul. That's fine. So by assigning these little vessels as an escort, I'm hoping they will kind of just fly around when it gets into combat, and they will absorb a lot of fire with the, the shields that they have. That's my hope. And I would have started out with a Zora cube, but I have, my station has not made one yet, so I was like, well, we'll just start with these ships first. 
All right, that I don't recognize that ship. All right, well that's that's dead. I wonder if the nomads were updated because I do not recognize that ship, and I just played them not too long ago. Let me fire my main gun, and you're dead. It's not surprising these ships charging in one at a time. Not exactly the smart thing to do. Oh, one of those guys. Yeah, I remember them. All right, let me vent. Oh, look at those little little fighters. That's funny. All right, looks like some of the big ships are up here. Oh, that guy, man, that ship is insane. All right, we need to bring that thing down fast. Unfortunately, my uh, main gun does not do uh, connect damage here. So with all my point defense weapons, you can kind of see the missiles from the Nomad Faction are having a hard time actually getting to me, even though there's so many. Plus, I'm pretty sure these shield drones are doing what I wanted them to do. I see them flying around with their shields up, so that's good. Let me vent. Oh, the little missile frigate. I remember that guy. How's our fleet doing? Everyone's at 100% haul. I think that guy's taking some haul damage. That ship's okay. I'm okay. All right. I'm trying to stay as far away as I can from this guy, because if you get close to his main guns, th this thing will tear you up. Plus, I think I'm also drawing him into our other ship's firing arcs here. Yeah, like, that's deadly. That salvo is deadly. You know, we should... Here, let's just uh, focus on this guy. You can't have your shield on all sides of your ship. Yeah, he's he's down. All that EMP damage he just took, all of his systems are disabled. You are un <laughs> you are so screwed, man. But yeah, the, I think that ship is one of the most powerful ships the Nomads have. It's very solid. I, I really love playing with that ship. Alright, so is that it? Alright, they are retreating. Alright, we will let them retreat. Alright, so after that battle... Let's see, we destroyed their fleet. We took... Let's see, our pyramid took 2% haul damage. That's it. Whoa. Alright. Do we want to pursue? I don't think we do. I think all their ships are faster than us, so we will let them go. Pick through the salvage here. Let's take some of their supplies. Take their fuel. I don't care about their weapons. Continue. Heck yeah, level up. Uh, let's see, we have two points to spend. Let's spend it on our um, fleet speed here. All right, so first, uh, first battle, pretty good. Against the Nomads, I think the Zorg are going to be a little tough because they have just access to a ton of those. I think they're called photon torpedoes. Oh, well, wait a minute, maybe they're not called photons or something. But anyway, the Nomads have that system where the their missiles constantly regenerate over time. But the Zorg come with just a lot of point defense weapons, so it's going to be really hard um, to get through to the uh, actual ships, especially since oh. That's what I get for talking. Oh my god, an assault battleship. Battle cruiser. I've never I never saw that. Um, well, let's hope we can take care of it. <laughs> In my entire series, I never I don't think I ever saw that. Did I? 
I don't think so. Let's continue. Uh, but yeah, so what I was going to say is that their missiles, the way that they fire is like, let's say he's right there. So they'll fire straight, and then they try to curve around the ship and get into its backside, which is kind of cool. But it gives the Zorg even more time to take out the missiles before they get there. So anyway, we just have these three systems, huh? Okay, let's assault the nav buoy. I will give orders to that. Um, and then shield me again. So capture the Nabui, and I'm curious to see this battle cruiser in action. It's kind of scary, because that that cruiser I just said that's like one of their best ships in, in their fleets. Um, that battle cruiser is actually bigger than that, and I never saw it, so that may be actually you know better. If it is, then oh crap, my fleet could be destroyed right here. See, so yeah, that, that sound you keep hearing is the Zord Displacer um, systems activating. Shoot, they're coming to our side. Alright, that's dead. That's dead. The shield drones are doing work there, blocking a lot of the shots. I don't think these uh, little ships have that much of a chance against us. And there's their cruiser. Where's their um, big guy? He's not here yet. Oh, I was trying to. I was hoping to get um, some of my damage through with the EMP before he got his shield up, but that did not happen. See, if you look at these missiles, like, they just, they don't really have much of a chance against all the point defense weapons that this ship has. Try to get rid of these little escorts. There we go. Now that ship I remember. How are our ships doing here? Hall is looking fine there. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, we're still okay. Oh, there's the big guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa. Wow, that, uh, that had an impressive opening salvo there. I do not want to get hit by that. Alright, let's, uh, maybe we still have any command points. I can't, I'm so used to having the command points. I want, I want them. There we go, we got a little damage through. Yep, got some more. Just kind of ignoring this guy. Now you can see the front of um, that battle cruiser's armor is just totally destroyed. Oh god. Okay, I, ha I have to pay attention to this guy now. He's just getting so close. Did we get him? Wow, we actually destroyed their battle cruiser. 
Alright, let's do um, search and destroy now. I will vent. Woo! The EMP damage from that weapon is just so brutal. So brutal. And you're gone. And they are trying to run away. I think... Oh, <laughs> jeez. Can you crash into any more ships there, Pyramid? Oh, they're behind us. Okay. Oh, I could almost... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> No. Just ah. Uh. <laughs> oh well. Let's just watch these guys. Hmm. It looks like those guys are going to be able to make it out. Maybe not. I guess I should have gave my guy a uh, order. Let's send him up there. While we watch this guy hopefully take this remaining frigate out. So yeah, that battle cruiser for the Nomads has a very impressive entrance. Very impressive. Um, but I think with as with the other Nomad ships, they all kind of have that initial burst power, but they don't have the sustainability. Uh, if they are in a, a fight for too long, that's when their weakness kind of shows. So if they don't kill a ship in the initial burst, they are eh, kind of screwed. So okay, we destroyed almost their entire fleet. Our hull integrity. Let's see, that guy took some damage. Is that the destroyer? Yeah, 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 the Zorg drone class. So he took some hull damage. And that's it. Holy shit. We destroyed that entire fleet. And that's all that happened. Okay. Um, I'll let the rest of them go. Pick through. Don't really need any of the supplies. I'll take your f fuel, though. Continue. Heck yeah, another level up. Bop, bop, bop. And let's do some command points. So that was a pretty big fleet, I think. Uh, that's It was bigger than this. And that means I think we have kind of already met as much resistance as we're going to get out of the Nomads. That's crazy. We don't even have a cube yet. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, go back home to our little Zorg station and maybe get another uh, ship. What's my logistics at right now? Oh, it's way over because I have a lot of fuel on board. Let's just get rid of some of that. Uh, how many? Am okay, let's just get rid of. It's fine. Okay. All right, so we, yeah, we have some logistics to play with there. I can get I can get another pyramid for that, and I know I can get, I think, another one of these. I can get, flip, these are only three supplies a day. I can get a couple of those, my god. Alright, so anyway, that was the uh, first video of my Zorg series. We kind of crushed the Nomad fleets that we came across, and like I said, we don't even have a cube yet. That's the big, that's the big one, and that's what I hope to find here soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.